Hello there. Most mechatronics or robotics lovers may be started their robotics building journey by making a line follower robot. Because line follower robots are very easy to make and very fascinating. I started making line follower robots from my high school and I tried different designs to improve speed and stability. Later I realized and learned speed not only depends on the design, it depends also on the algorithm. Here I am going to show you how I designed and made my first line follower robot with PID algorithm. So let's get started this video. As always, everything started from designing the circuit. I used easy idea to design my circuit. Here I used Arduino Nano, DRV8835 motor driver and QTR8RC IR sensor array. Then I designed PCB with that circuit. And at that time, I decided to use the PCB as the chase of the robot. So I made PCB just like a chase. To print PCB, I downloaded the Gerber file and uploaded it to JLC PCB. I chose JLC PCB because they offer only $2 for 5 PCBs. After uploading, I customized the PCB and placed the order. After one week, I received the pack. Here you can see the PCB. Everything looks awesome and quality is perfect. Now it's time to solder all components. I started with SMD components. After completing that, I placed through hole components and soldered them. Then I used female header pins to connect the modules. To control the boat, I am using Arduino Nano. To drive the motors, here I am using Polulu DRV8835 motor driver. And to sense the line, here I am using QTR8RC IR reflective array. Then I placed every module on its socket. After that, I took the N20 motors and with the help of motor clamps, I fixed motors into the PCB. Also connected its wires to corresponding socket. Then I attach small rubber tires to the motor. To avoid friction and to give necessary gap between ground and the sensor, I place a caster wheel in front of the robot. Now it's time to upload code. So this is the code I said earlier this board uses a PID algorithm and you can see the three parameters that are KD, KP, KI. Here we have to adjust these values to get a smooth run. 
we get only these values from trial and error method. After uploading the code, I connected the battery to the board and checked. And you can see the rotating tire. Hmm, it's working. So let's see how to run this. First I turned on the board, then I pressed the calibration button. Now you can see the blue LED. That means now our board is in calibration mode. To calibrate the board, we have to expose the QTR sensor to black and white surface, just like this. After 10 seconds, the LED automatically turn off, which means the board is calibrated. Now just push the run button and here we go. Now you can see the complete working of the robot. I know you have tons of questions on your mind. Don't worry, you can comment it. I will definitely answer. All the parts, circuit and the code links available in the description. So what's next? You can see the movement of the robot is little bit jerky. That's because of poor tuning of the PID parameters. Also the manual calibration is little bit annoying. And also I am planning to change the tire. All these updations you can expect in my future videos. So stay tuned for that. That's enough for today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. All up to you. I will see you next time.